So hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a really quick braces update um, to let you guys know what my teeth has been like. So I'm not gonna make this video long but I just wanna share a quick update video with what's been going on with my teeth. I'll actually be doing a follow up to this video to kind of share more in detail with some of the things that I've experienced um, with my braces on and what with my braces off and just some things that you should know if you are in your own braces journey or plan to get braces yourself. So one of the biggest updates is that I don't think my teeth has changed very much as far as like if you were to look at me, like look at me straight on, I don't think my teeth have changed that much. I've been wearing my retainers for the most part pretty faithfully which is Every day with the exception of like maybe one or two hours of just maybe three depending <laughs> that brief period when I'm eating or if I have some kind of presentation for work or um, a really important meeting I just can't I just have to avoid me slurring because the retainers does cause me to slur or just causes me not to be able to pronounce or enunciate my words correctly but before I move any further I wanted to show you guys an update of my teeth so you see what I'm working with. So I'm actually gonna put a side-by-side -side comparison video so you can see what my teeth look like the very first day I got my braces put off and compared to today. I, I don't think I've seen a difference. Obviously I know my teeth have shifted and, and that they're not exactly where they were two months ago because I don't have that constant pressure keeping my teeth in place. Um, the retainers don't provide pressure to my teeth really, it's just they just keep them exactly where they're supposed to be based on the molding of my impressions um, of, of what my teeth were when I had my braces. I don't think my teeth have moved very much, that's number one. Number two, I had molar bands and I had three molar bands put in. They're supposed to be like an anchor to your braces and kind of help to reinforce your braces from breaking off. Unfortunately, or fortunately for me, I couldn't get the fourth one on because it was just really painful. And so they, they just put a regular end bracket at the bottom right side. So my initial reaction when I got the bands put on is that I was concerned about it creating a space after it's been removed. Because in my head I'm like, you put this finger on my tooth, it's taking up space. So obviously my teeth are being forced backwards and because of the reinforcement of the braces. So when I removed these bands, there's gonna be a space because logically there's gonna be a space because something was, was a placeholder, you know? So obviously it's gonna create space. And I, I was told over and over again, oh, don't worry, they'll close, they'll close on their own, etc." So I have three bands. I have a space in front of that tooth and behind the tooth. So I have at least six spaces from that. In addition, I have two spaces elsewhere. <laughs> I know, I know. So I have like a total of like eight spaces in my mouth. Um, the biggest spaces are where the molar bands were. I can say, actually the first five to six weeks, everything that I ate, I even ate gummy bears. And everything that I ate, I can feel the, whatever I was eating getting lodged into the space of where the gap was. It was so annoying. And every time I called the orthodontist office, it was like, no, it's too soon. You, you know, it's gonna give it more time, it's gonna close. But literally for weeks, nothing got better. The space was just as big. I mean, so imagine the space is big enough where I eat asparagus, it gets stuck. If I be eating shredded like chicken and just like shreds of chicken would get stuck. And it would get stuck on both sides, so the front and back. I think the worst of it had to be my top left tooth uh, up here that caught the most of the food that gets stuck in my mouth or in between my teeth. So it's really, really annoying and it's almost hard to avoid because it's my molar and I can I need to chew. Number three, um, my, my retainers at first, when I first got my retainers put on or when I was first beginning to wear my retainers, my retainers did cause a lot of pain in my teeth, and I think that was my, my teeth finally settling in. Um, I had a lot of pain in my molars, um, sometimes in the front tooth here. I had a lot of pain there, just a lot of soreness, and I guess it's just my teeth just readjusting to its new permanent position. Um, and so the discomfort lasted, I think, what did I say, about three weeks? I mean, about at least three weeks that I can remember, maybe four. Um, but now I'm to the point where I don't feel any discomfort at all from like any movement that's happening. So if there's movement that is happening, I don't necessarily feel the, the discomfort from it anymore. But I think everything has been going well. 
I'm definitely enjoying life without braces. I definitely love that my speech is so much clearer. And um, if you want to like find out more about that, click this I up here to find out more about the differences that I've experienced since having braces. Um, but I definitely like my speech. I definitely like my smile. It's still a little weird. I think I look very weird with no gap. Like, I think I looked weird. I even thought my teeth were too straight because he did file my top row and I even felt like that was too straight, but I think I've gotten used to it at this point. But yeah, all is going well um, in, in post braces life. I'm enjoying the freedom of eating foods and not having to fiddle, like not having to fish for food out of my bracket. It's just been so glorious. Flossing is so much easier. But yeah, I, everything is going well. But if you have any specific questions for me about my braces journey and what it's been like so far, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as I can. But I just want to give you guys a really brief update about what's been happening and just the progress of my teeth so far so that you are aware. Because I've been getting many questions about what's, what's been happening, what's been going on, and I haven't done an update. And so just to let you know, everything is all good and rocking over here. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And stay tuned for that for my next braces update video. I'm gonna go on in a lot more detail about my experience and my journey, what I've learned. So make sure to watch out for that video. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed now by hitting that subscribe button down below. And also turn on the notifications so that you know the next time that I'm uploading. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.